Hi and welcome back. This is Thea. <coughs> uh, today I thought I was going to do an art journal page and I'm going to do it in the style of um, that I got inspired from Dee Dee Willingham and I'll try to get her uh, channel in the doobly doo. Uh, as you can see here, I have my art journal, and to, to be tr totally truthful, I have been in a really bad crafting, uh, arting hiatus. Uh, I haven't been doing anything uh, creative, really, for a long time. So this page is just bits and pieces of uh, collage bits, and as you can see, uh, no rhyme or reason. I've just taken pieces I had over and cut some other pieces out and I put them down with matte medium. And I see here, like this is a little bit uh, <clears throat> unglued, so I'm gonna go in with some glue and just glue it down. I'm sure that it's gonna stick. And I'm going to block out to start with, uh, with just some different acrylic colors. Um, I'm going to start with just a uh, black acrylic uh, and this one I just have with some water in it. And this is a heavy body acrylic that I'm using that I just thinned out with some water. Uh, I'm going to do the same with some white heavy body acrylic that I thinned out with some water. And I'm trying to see what colors I have here. So here I see I have some purple and stuff. Uh, I'm going to use the Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. If I can get it open. Uh, and you're going to need quite little paint. So I'll probably end up putting some in my desk journal. I'm gonna use some ultramarine blue uh, Liquitex Basics. Uh, I'm gonna use some DecoArt Soft Swede Crafters Acrylic. I'm going to use some uh, Panduro um, acrylic paint, it's uh, a gloss uh, hobby paint and this one is in the curry, or curry, so kind of a um, mustard yellow and in the same uh, Panduro, the glossy hobby paint, I'm using mahogany. And I also see some turquoise here, so I'm going to get out my Liquitex Basics. And this is the one in Thalocyanine uh, Green. To start this, I'm just going to go in with my fingers and just try to get rid of, like, uh, white edges and the white paper and I was really inspired uh, uh, I've never done it uh, like collage this way before so I was really inspired by Didi and I thought I'd try I don't have an idea how this will gon is gonna turn out when I'm done going with some white but it's also a really good way I think uh, to learn about color combinations and how to use your paint uh, to get the results you want you want sorry and go in here get some of the purple add in some Marine-ish color. Okay. 
Here I'm going with the blue. And I'm probably going to put more than one coat of paint on this to get rid of like all the all the white and stuff from the pa papers uh, but for now I'm just getting a base coat of paint down like st almost staining the paper only and I don't know yet what where this is going I can see some kind of landscape uh, with some beaming going on uh, which is kind of fun go back with this aquamarine color and I think I'm gonna go some more of the reddish color I have going on here and just go like that maybe put some up there as well defining like it's like mountainish and I'm gonna go and get myself a baby white <clears throat> baby wipe clean off my finger and use it to work some of the paint to get to be more smooth and no harsh edges And here I'm just for this I'm just blending the like suede with the red to get something in between. can almost be like a waterfall of sand white in to get the movement This is really a nice process, I think. It's really relaxing and like there's no rhyme and reason for this uh, for this page. Uh, it's only like bits and pieces stuck down and trying to get something something that resembles something uh, but not it doesn't have to be realism is really calming I have to say Put some black mixed with my suede
this head a little bit more. Maybe get, let's see, let's come add some yellow. And try to get this to go behind the beam. some kind of weird cosmic <laughs> landscape this uh, but I think it could be fun something fun since it's no defined thing yet it's just suggestions of something it could be. Which is quite interesting. I think I'm going to go in with some brushes. <coughs> see which ones I have. I think I use this one. It's just a uh, uh, round, pointy brush. And I think I'm going to go in and just try to define these lines over. Keep them going like across. <clears throat> Maybe it's another little planet hiding in there. movement that the sound is becoming like a fog <coughs> some black in there Get a piece of paper to wipe my little brush off. I'm just gonna go in and see if my head is in the way, I hope not. Uh, fussy paint around this starlight thing. That just is sitting there. And still, I'm just mixing some red, some yellow, <clears throat> and some of the um, taupe type color, uh, trying to match it up. And then I'm going in with more just taupe and the red <clears throat> to blend it out on this side. Add some white as well. Maybe 
to be a little bit too reddish. And I'm not being super careful or anything. Uh, it's the essence of the star I'm looking for. Not that it's exactly like perfect or anything. I'm gonna go in here and just also paint some around these little bubbly things. Just make them stand out a bit more. So how's everybody been? Everybody had a nice summer. Uh, I had a pretty nice summer. Uh, Taking it easy, spending time with family, uh, it was really nice actually. Um, hanging out with my nephew, that is just making me laugh all the time. Like, he's just so funny. Six months old going on 50 I think. <laughs> and he's just happy as a little kid can be. Always smiling, which is nice. Can use some extra smiles sometime. And now I'm just making these as little Saturn like planets. I don't know why they just look like they could be something like that. And I'm just getting some tone differentials into this that I think is going to become some sort of planet thingy as well. I'm gonna go in with some black <clears throat> and just define it since it's so similar in colors to this. Okay. I think this is gonna need some. The energy is coming from these diamante thingies. And this one. Or two of them. Who knows? Maybe both. Maybe it's pulsating. And here I'm trying not to like mix the colors. Should probably dry it first, but what's meant to be is meant to be. And here I'm just like hiding the the harsh lines behind some beams. Okay, going back to my little sa sand waterfall. Just getting some movement in it. And maybe some uh, 
some sort of direction from it. I think I'm gonna add some white just like it's faded up, like it is blowing in from here. this again that could be some form of some form of starting to talk sweet swinglish here um uh, obelisk or something maybe yeah start it's starting starting to be something that it was not before starting to become a little, little bit of landscape which is kind of cool now i'm just putting in the suede with the white and just getting some like darkerish little cloud-like things and then i'm gonna go in with the black and once again just go and I don't wash my brush in between, uh, so it doesn't become like black, black, it's more of a gray <clears throat> black. So I'm just trying to accentuate. Might need to put in some gray there. Looking almost like angry little floating thing and bobs. Like they are determined to get down from here. Okay, washing my brush out again. And I'm gonna redefine this circle here with just some yellow and a little bit of white to tone it down so it isn't so harsh. And add in a little bit of suede uh, just to get a nice goldish kind of color. And of course, put my arm in the wet paint to wash it off. Like I said before, it's a really nice way to start looking at your color combinations and how to mix colors and stuff, I have to say. To like, oh, see what colors are the same, what colors are like different. Uh, if I don't have a color, uh, what color can I use to get that color? 